I'm not super proud of the fact that simple things can amuse me so much sometimes, but this amuses me. I love this. It's fantastic. I guess it's totally the equivalent to the guys who print those snakes that, you know, ornamental things, but this is like that and fun and feels good, but you can do stuff with it. I'm not sure what you're going to do with it, but you can do stuff with it because it's a functional chain with various accessories you can snap on and off. And so uh, for me, this is much better than an ornamental trinket. This is a useful trinket. <laughs> you can make jewelry. You can use it to hold on to things. You can, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm yet to find the purpose for it, but it's awesome. <laughs> I really like it and it prints super well. I'll show you all about it. I made a box chain, basically the same kind of chain that's used in jewelry. I didn't taper it, it's consistent all the way along. I've made all sorts of attachments, rings and hooks and carabiners and male to male, male to female, female to male. And I've made varying lengths for printing diagonally across varying sizes of print beds. The longest one right now, I think it's 300 and something millimeters. Uh, this might be it right there. Uh, it's pretty long. You can connect as many of them as you want, snap them together, and you can keep building this as long as you want. It bends really well in this direction. It bends moderately well in that direction and combined because of the twisting, it's very, very flexible. I've, I've created some shorter ones because they're kind of fun to make a keychain out of. Like you can just snap on different so I don't know why you'd want a keychain like that, but you could make a keychain, a bracelet, a necklace. Down the road, I think I'm going to try and make a, a net out of it because I just need to make a connector that's like an X and you could print and make a big giant flexible net. But I think you could do all sorts of fun things with it. I've done a whole lot of strength testing uh, as I've made various iterations of the design and keep refining it, refining it, and refining it to try and get as maximum strength into each little joint. And obviously they're replicated, so it's just talking about getting the strength in one joint and then I replicate it. And um, it's been quite interesting process and I think I'm there now. I'm just printing the uh, what I believe will be the final version and we'll see how much strength I get. So I'll do a little um, load test on it. Essentially all I'm doing is putting a sample of the chain onto the scale and pulling on it until it breaks trying to go as slow as possible so I'm considering it's more of a static strength and um, but it's difficult because it's a digital scale you got, I have to just kind of watch it and hope I can capture it on a video so I think I saw around 13 kilograms there that's typical and uh, what I've achieved in all my re-engineering is that the chain's not breaking there what's happened is the clasp is releasing and I guess I've decided in the end that's okay because you can at least put it back together and use it. I was hoping to make the clasp stronger than the chain, but I've just run out of room um, to work. And so I didn't want to make it bigger right now. I want to keep this format. I really like it. And honestly, if you get up to 13, 14 kilograms of strength, that's not bad. It's a pretty usable chain. Obviously, you know, you have to keep that strength factor in mind. So I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to post the step files. So if anybody wants to try and create other add-ons to it, that would be awesome. And somebody with a better imagination than me maybe come up with some ideas of what else it can be used for. I don't know, but I think, I think it's got lots of uses. In terms of just functional strength, it's pretty good. You can do stuff with it. I just don't know what. <laughs> so it's, in the, it's definitely in the category of fun, but I don't know what to do with it. Uh, but uh, hopefully over time we'll find some uses for it and that'll be awesome. Anyways, there you have it. I'll show you a close-up of the of the a couple of the pieces and the support. So, three things that I want to just show you really quickly. Uh, number one is the support. There's a tiny little piece of support needed on the male side of the clasp. It comes off real easy. You can just pinch it and get it off sometimes. But I find if you just go in the back side of it here with a scale and twist it, it pops off. So that's that. Once you put parts together like these two for example my original idea was after the barbs are caught into the into the female side of the clasp that I would just pinch in there and release it but I found that very difficult to do because it's too small so I made this key so you just slide the key on 
and then they pull apart and remove the key and you can reassemble it as many times as you want or put a different accessory on. So make sure you print yourself the key as well. It's very handy to have. And lastly, I mentioned that um, I'm a little concerned with how this will perform in PLA. The issue is that when you flex these to go into the female side of the connector, they bend pretty hard and that's important to flex back out and lock this in place. I have not printed it in PLA, so I'm just a little concerned that this won't, the memory of this will not be sufficient to allow that to flex and come back. And if that's the case, the solution is I have a longer version of this, which will give more room for flex. And uh, I can post that as well, but it's not as pretty because this gets longer, so all the joints are a little bit more visible. But if it's needed, I can post it and that, you know, it'll be there. So if anybody wants to give me feedback on that, be much appreciated. Otherwise, that's it. Uh, lots of different accessories. I even made a tiny little ring. Oh, and also I mentioned already, but here's close-up view of it. You can put the accessories together without the chain, in fact. So this is a male accessory with a female accessory. They go together fine and create interesting, different, smaller things. This is a tiny little ring if you want to put a steel key ring through to put keys on and then attach it to the chain or whatever. Got a few that have gaps in them. I have made a giant print in place carabiner. This carabiner is quite good. It prints just like this with no support, just enough clearance. You just break it each way and then it flexes out. Uh, I haven't posted yet, but I will post one with a fitting for the same system. And that's that. And otherwise, have fun. Enjoy. Let me know how it goes. Oh, I made a belt clip version too. Uh, I'm not sure I've posted that yet, but I'll post that. I, th I think I've got a handful of other ones to get posted and build to the collection of accessories that are usable with it. Anyways, have fun.